The state local agreement is an agreement between the local municipality and NYS DOT to commit state or federal funds to a project. The SLA provides the structure for reimbursement payments to sponsors using the committed funds. Without a fully executed agreement, you, as a sponsor, cannot be reimbursed. The agreement identifies the specific project, project type, and phases. A federally funded original agreement will generally only include the design and right-of-way incidental phase. This is a Federal Highway Administration or FHWA requirement for project quality control. Prior to moving on to the next phase right-of-way acquisition or construction, a supplemental agreement will be required. The project must be administered according to specific requirements as detailed in the NYS DOT Local Projects Manual and the SLA. The SLA also defines other obligations of NYS DOT and the sponsor including reimbursement of eligible costs, maintenance of the project upon completion, Compliance with procedural requirements such that local projects must be constructed in accordance with the NYS DOT standard specifications. The state local agreement is made up of several documents. There is the body, Schedule A, Description of Project Phase, Funding and if necessary, Deposit, Schedule B, Allocation of Responsibility by Phase, Subphase, or Task, Appendix A, New York State Required Provisions, 1. Supplemental Title VI Provisions, also known as the Civil Rights Act, Appendix B, U.S. Government Required Clauses, which is only applicable when federal funds are used, Appendix B, Policy Statement for Minority and Women-Owned Business Enterprises, Service Disabled Veteran Owned Business, Equal Employment Opportunity, which is required when the project is state funded, and finally, the resolution. 